everyone, and welcome to the Disability Channel Today Detroit. I am Zach Damon, and I am so excited to welcome today's guest. We have Heather Eckner, the Director of Education Initiatives with the Autism Alliance of Michigan. And Heather, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm doing well, Zach. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Oh my gosh. You know, we are happy to have you. I mean, all the work that you're doing with the Autism Alliance of Michigan is phenomenal. And if you don't mind, I'd like to jump right in. Sure. <laughs> all right. So you, you are a parent of two children with neurodevelopmental disabilities uh, with a background in education. And of course, your professional work includes being the founder and executive director of A2 Ideas, which is a nonprofit organization focused on special education advocacy. Uh, your work also includes serving uh, as the statewide director of education initiatives, of course, for the Autism Alliance of Michigan, as well as providing family development programming as an, inst as an institutional assistant at Wayne State University. So I was curious, what was it that brought you to the Autism Alliance of Michigan? Oh, great question. Um, so the, the journey alongside my son, who's my oldest, he's now 12 and he's autistic, intertwines um, very closely with the history of the Autism Alliance of Michigan um, in some really key ways. I have experience as a classroom teacher. And when my son was born, you know, we had this profound shift um, in our lives into the world of early intervention, evaluation, diagnosis. And during that same time, it really was around the same year um, or after a year after that my son was born, the founding directors of the Autism Alliance of Michigan formed the organization. And so just as my son was nearing age three, I was deep into parenting courses, you know, trying to ensure that I knew how to be the best parent I could be for my son. And then we were also trying to figure out appropriate interventions to support my son's development. I started hearing about this new organization, fairly new organization in the state that was working on um, to pass legislation for an autism insurance benefit. And they were hosting information sessions and I attended one. And there I met, well, in addition to meeting our pediatrician who is still my children's pediatrician, I now have two kids. Sure. And, I'm, and I love her, <laughs> you know, families get very, um, closely twined to their uh, pediatrician. So I met her there, but I also met Colleen Allen, who is the president and CEO of the Autism Alliance and still is today. And I've told Colleen now this um, a few times, but I, I became something of a groupie of hers. And I followed her around to at least three or four of these information sessions. And because of the efforts of the Autism Alliance, they were successful in passing the insurance benefit they had shared the information, empowered me to um, really advocate for my son and making sure that we were on the right path for him. And so we were able to access services that in a way and to an extent that we would not have been able to otherwise. And, and um, so, you know, fast forward that and as my son is entering more into traditional schooling, um, again, I have this background in education, but this lived experience as well. And I just dove into special education and that quickly took me into advocacy um, and, and those experiences of families and the challenges that they have and how we can um, help families and help individuals get past those barriers and systems to access better supports and services and opportunities. And so that um, a common path for people who get into advocacy work is, you know, Maybe they have a background, personal experience. And then for parents, we often join committees. So I chaired, um, I co-chaired a parent advisory committee for my local school district for a couple of years. I joined an executive board for the parent teacher organization council for the whole district and got involved in those ways, but um, deeper and deeper it went with more and more families asking me, um, you know, now that you know this, Heather, can you help us? And so I was doing this so much and I was seeing again, kind of similar patterns of repeat challenges. Sure, and sure. I thought, you know, what is a way I can work at this at a, at a level and a platform that I can really affect not only helping individual families, but affect systems, maybe even policy change. 
And so that really was the genesis for the formation of what became my local micro nonprofit A2 Ideas based in Ann Arbor, which I know you're familiar with some, Zach. Um, and, and so through that work over time, just really getting engaged um, and, and then kind of coming back into contact with the Autism Alliance of Michigan as a way to give back, I um, always tried to present at their um, biannual conferences. They have an annual conference um, and then a regional conference every year. And I try to go back and present. And so kind of staying, you know, staying um, connected in some ways. And then um, in the summer of 2019, the Autism Alliance really started to get more deeply engaged in the education space, specifically special education statewide. And here are, you know, priorities and kind of work collided <laughs> in really in some really good, exciting ways. And um, essentially what the Alliance was looking to do with their efforts was everything I had been working towards. And so this, this coming together just seemed like a really natural um, and great fit. And I have really been loving all of the work and opportunities that I've had now with the Alliance. So it's, it's just been great. Oh my gosh. I mean, amazing, amazing uh, things that you're doing that are inspiring you so much. Uh, all the things that you're doing. And of course, I mean, you know, working with the great Metro University of Wayne State, I mean, have you noticed, uh, I guess, you know, a difference in working in a city like Detroit and uh, how much that is impacting the disability community uh, in the Detroit metro area? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's been a great experience too at Wayne State and I'm an instructional assistant under Dr. Leah Ketchison and she's got a lot of great programming going on connected to adaptive um, physical education. And then what, what is so wonderful about what she's done and, and she's a close partner to the Autism Alliance as well as is Wayne State, but she brings me in then to help with the parents of the kids she's working with in her programming to help inform and empower them around special education and advocacy. Um, and I really appreciate her thoughtfulness in, in connecting that. And, and absolutely, you know, what's interesting though is kind of no matter where I am in the state or, or who I'm talking to, because special education is this process and it's a system, it's based on federal law, um, there are pockets of excellent excellence and things happening that are really great. And then there are pockets of challenge, but a lot of those experiences are fairly similar across the state. Um, what, what I think stands out the most and in terms of um, equity and access really is there are a lot of parents, a lot of families out there that don't even realize these services and supports exist or they realize they exist, but they have no idea how, how to even initiate that. So, so there's so much about just getting them to the place where, you know, listening to what it is that they're trying to achieve alongside their child and for their child, and then connecting that to say, hey, did you know you can take this step and this starts a process and we can explain to you how this process will work and that will unlock some of these opportunities. Um, so it's just been another great partnership and a way to connect with families and, and really help move things forward. Yeah, again, just an amazing, amazing resource you are, uh, not just for Wayne State, but, uh, you know, the state and the community. Uh, so wonderful, wonderful work. And, you know, I wanted to touch on to the mission of the Autism Alliance of Michigan, uh, because I think it's important and it's to lead efforts to raise expectations and expand opportunities for people touched by autism across the lifespan. But, you know, with a background in education and advocacy, like you touched on, why is this mission important to you? Yeah, and as you mentioned, Zach, you know, my background's in education and advocacy. So I tend to view um, social justice work through that lens. And um, education is a social determinant of health, overall health and well being. And, and, so I view education, I believe it is fundamental to the well-being and functioning of the people in our society. Um, if, if we think in terms of education being a process, right, a process of facilitating learning, which begins at birth, and as we foster this acquisition of knowledge, skills, habits, 
um, values, beliefs, all of that, right? We, we come to accessing those opportunities. Um, and that purpose of education, the role of education is to provide that opportunity to develop to the fullest extent possible for each individual. And so that they're able to live creatively, productively, fully um, in our society, right? So, so when we talk about raising expectations and expanding opportunities, I, I see education as that pathway to reach that mission. Um, we know that you know the education experiences for youth with disabilities, there, there can be um, barriers, as I've mentioned, that are often connected to low expectations. Um, and, and that therefore limits opportunity. And so with the mission at the Autism Alliance to raise expectations and expand opportunities through my work, that lens of education, um, this is everything that my advocacy work has focused on for the past several years. And so I, I see it as deeply intertwined. Yeah. No, absolutely, I couldn't agree more. And we're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with Heather Eckner of the Autism Alliance of Michigan. Stay with us. Would you like to donate to our employment programs? Please follow the link below to donate through PayPal. All proceeds go to our program. For the episodes of Veterans Onward to Prosperity, I'm your host, Master Sergeant Retired Anna Maria Bliven, bringing you every week information, resources, and sources to, that help tackle the issues and situations uh, that occur when transitioning from military to civilian life. Hello folks and welcome back to the Disability Channel Today Detroit. I am Zach Damon. I am here with Heather Eckner of the Autism Alliance of Michigan. Uh, she is doing wonder, one, wonderful, wonderful things uh, for the disability community uh, in Detroit and the surrounding areas. Uh, and she just does a wonderful job. And of course, you know, Heather, you've touched on um, a lot of your background and of course why the mission uh, of your organization is important. But more importantly, the Autism Alliance of Michigan has many different resources, uh, so many that it's difficult to name them all. But I was curious if you could just talk about some that are important to you and what kind of resources those may be. Absolutely. Um, and as you mentioned, there are a lot. So it's probably best to do this in the context of the pillars of our organization. And so at the core of the Autism Alliance is navigation. So we have a navigator program. It's a statewide resource for individuals, family members, educators, providers, really every, anyone um, who is trying to find answers to questions, connect to resources, and understand um, what, which can be very challenging, you know, systems and access, as I had kind of um, talked about. And so everyone who contacts the Autism Alliance of Michigan is assigned a navigator who is a knowledgeable professional. And um, this is a free service and is for life. So, so there's not a point that you can't keep coming back to us and asking more questions. Sure. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really fundamental to the work that we do. Um, our second pillar, no big surprise, is gonna be my favorite because it's education. <laughs> and so while <laughs> the Autism Alliance has always provided um, ongoing outreach and education in, the, in terms of information sharing, training, support. Um, as I mentioned, within the past couple of years, and as I, I have joined with the organization, there's been this focus at a much deeper level into the education space across our state. Mm -hmm. And really the Autism Alliance um, is at the lead in driving initiatives that address the root causes of systemic barriers um, to access opportunity and those outcomes that we're looking for in education for students with disabilities. So we're doing this work through coalition building, policy work, um, and really with a clear intent on systems change. Um, because we know that, you know, as much as it's fulfilling to work with individuals and families and, and helping them, 
we ultimately need to change those broader systems and structures which create the challenges that the families keep experiencing. And so then education directly flows into our third um, pillar, which is employment. And so actually, you know, within education, I, I mentioned that special education for students with disabilities is um, governed by a federal law, which is the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. And the purpose of IDEA, as it's often referred to, is um, to prepare students with disabilities through this specialized education and supports for further education, employment, and independent living. So when I say education naturally flows into employment, I, it really does. Right? It's really what we're leading towards. And so the Alliance is very committed to maximizing employment opportunities for individuals with disabilities um, across in industries through really innovative um, work and partnerships. And so we actually, the organization set a moonshot goal of 101,000 job placements in the next 10 years. So um, we're deeply engaged in this effort. Yeah. <laughs> Aspects of the um, employment pillar fall under a group um, connected to the Autism Alliance, which is called Upbound, and they really are the, the key to um, connecting workers and employers. And so they're they're at that cutting edge of that. So it's really um, it's an ambitious goal, but but we like ambitious goals at the Autism Alliance of Michigan because it really keeps us driving for you know those really big changes that we're looking for. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't agree more with you. And, you know, you touch on a really great point of employment opportunities uh, for those with disabilities. You know, we here at the Disability Channel uh, believe the same thing. We have amazing uh, employment opportunities for people with disabilities in media. And so we couldn't agree more uh, with your mission uh, of getting people with disabilities the education, training, and employment that they need. Uh, to be great contributing members of society because that is paramount important. It absolutely, yes, yeah. Absolutely, and so I wanted to touch on this too because you you talked about uh, your moonshot goal, but I want to talk a little bit more uh, about your awesome event. Your organization hosts the Michigan Shines for Autism Gala. So can you share a bit about that event and how it's going to help you kind of get towards that moonshot goal you were speaking of? Oh sure. Um, so the the shine the Michigan Shine for Autism um, Gala is our largest annual event, and it's taking place this year in September, Saturday, September 11th, and it will be held in person. Um, well, uh, there will be an option for in-person attendees um, at the Motor City Casino in downtown Detroit, and then there will also be an option for virtual attendees. You know, in in our current world, as we're like sort of returning to what it, whatever we called normal before. Sure. <laughs> so there are both options. Um, and it was actually during last year's gala that the Alliance um, announced their moonshot goal of the 101,000 jobs in the next 10 years. And so this year's gala theme really builds upon that. And um, as I mentioned before, with all of the different work that we're engaged in, the ways that we're trying to open up opportunities for individuals with disabilities, including autism, um, and the resources that we provide, like navigation, free for life, um, you know, everything we do is free to individuals and families that we serve. So it, it really is through events like this, which makes our work possible. Um, so these are the fun ways that you can kind of the win win of supporting the Autism Alliance of Michigan while really contributing to. Um, and being part of the work that we're accomplishing and being part of that mission that we talked about. Oh, absolutely. We're going to take uh, one more quick break. And when we come back, we're going to continue with Heather Eckner of the Autism Alliance of Michigan. Hello, world. It is Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel inviting you to subscribe and watch live on Roku TV, on YouTube, on Restream, and also listen in in Wisconsin Radio, Dave Stevens, all around the world. And on top of all of this, really proud to announce that we now also have a mobile app. 
so you can download for free. Watch Roku TV for free. And the mobile app is free too from Google Drive. Be sure to download it and have it at your fingertips at all times. There's a job platform and there's a live chat feature and there's the TV feature with Roku TV and there's also the social media channels. Take care folks, bye for now. Hi, my name is Julia Romaldi. Please come join us on the Disability Channel. Please stay tuned, we have amazing guests. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Disability Channel of Detroit. I'm Zach Damon. I am so excited to have Heather Eckner of the Autism Alliance of Michigan with us. She was just speaking about her amazing uh, gala event uh, that they have every year. It's going to be a Motor City Casino, the crown jewel uh, of the Motor City. going to be an amazing event. Now you said that people can attend uh, in person, correct? Correct, yes. And we're looking Wonderful. forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wonderful. And so just doing amazing, amazing work there. So uh, for more, how can viewers find out and follow you, Heather, uh, to keep up on what you and the Autism, Autism Alliance of Michigan uh, are doing? Yeah, so we'd love to have your viewers reach out and connect with us. Um, some easy ways are we have an 800 number. So the number for that is 877-463. AAOM, but I always like to know what, what does AAOM, what numbers does that stand for? So that's 2266. Um, we're also, you can send a general email and then it will get routed to the appropriate people. Um, you can send it to info at AAOMI.org. Um, we also have our general Autism Alliance of Michigan website, which is just, um, that's what it is. It's AutismAllianceOfMichigan.org. Um, Autism Alliance is on Facebook at the same handle, Autism Alliance of Michigan, um, Michigan sorry, and then Twitter at Autism Alliance. Um, if, if any viewers are interested in the specific education work that we're doing, um, you can visit our website, the autismalliancesofmichigan.org slash education, and that will take you to um, some of the initiatives that I talked about, including that coalition building work that we've been doing. Um, and one of the aspects of it that I'm most proud of is a dedicated group to student and family-led advocacy. And that group is called MyPAC. So you'll be able to find that through the website. Um, but we're also on Facebook and Twitter at MyPAC. So it's a pretty, it's M-I-P-A-A-C. <laughs> M-I-P-A-A-C, folks. Yeah. If you are uh, interested in that educational piece, again, uh, Heather Eckner, a plethora of educational resources uh, for those uh, with disabilities doing amazing, amazing work. And one final question for you, Heather, for all of the young people out there with disabilities that are watching right now, hoping to be their best, uh, what advice do you have for them? Uh, yeah. Um, wow. So I be involved in the planning and decision making for your life. Um, you know, it, it's interesting, education, again, is, is the realm that I'm engaged in. And because by the very nature of at, at the earliest stages, um, you know, parents are the default advocates, right, for their kids because of the age. But what we need to really be cognizant of and, and champion is empowerment of self-advocacy skills. And, and there needs to be that shift where we empower parents to be the best advocates that they can on behalf of their children, but then to model those skills and foster and develop and champion those skills within their kids as they grow older so that they really can take charge and, and lead that self-determined life. Um, you know, demand others on your team, whether it's your parents as part of it um, or school team members that they listen to you and, and follow your vision. What, what are your dreams? What do you want to accomplish? What are your interests? Um, you, you're the whole reason that this all exists. So, so stay true to that. Um, and I know that's easier said than done at times. So that's why we do the work we do. We're trying to 
to pave that way, um, you know, widen those paths so that everybody can kind of find find their space and and keep moving forward. Um, so really, you know, together we can break down any of those barriers to opportunities, and and we really just want to continue to ensure the the high expectations for all. Absolutely, breaking barriers and raising the bar. I love it, folks. We're going to take one quick break, and we'll be right back. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. All right, folks, welcome back to the Disability Channel of Detroit. I am Zach Damon with Heather Eckner of the Autism Alliance of Michigan. Heather, it was an extreme uh, pleasure to have you on the show today and having you talk about your amazing work uh, that you're doing, uh, not only for the Autism Alliance of Michigan, uh, but for the state and the community. Um, I think you are just a beacon of light, and I'd like to say that the Disability Channel of Detroit uh, was very grateful to have you. Oh, thank you so much, Zach, and thank you for everything you're doing. Um, this work, this is, this is great. It's been wonderful, so thank you. Thank you, folks. And for more information on the Disability Channel and, of course, our media and employment programs, please feel free to visit thedisabilitychannel.ca. I'm Zach Damon with the Disability Channel Today Detroit. We'll see you next time.